Hello everybody and welcome back to this uh, short video computer trainings. Uh, as we go forward with the Mac OS X suite, we actually want, wanted to talk about a little bit about um, the Mac OS X file systems, which is based on the Unix file system, because we got a lot of questions about permissions and such for some of the tasks or scripts that we presented in our uh, trainings that uh, some of the users were not able to get through just because of permissions issues, right? Now, you need to remember that Macintosh, Mac OS X operating system is based on a Unix file system, right? Which means it comes with the uh, Unix file system perks. That's um, file systems or file system permissions, which are a little bit complicated. Well, not, not if you have a little bit of knowledge, but uh, they, they actually sound very complicated when you look at it, right? The best way to see or change the permission file, the permission on the file system or the files or the directories you have it's through the command line that we actually use a lot but you can actually see through the go id as well right um for now we're going to split this in two for the today training we're going to you know um, show you what the file system is about and uh uh, which permissions uh, you can see, which permissions you can change, and so far and so forth. And also, uh, when you execute a, a list command, uh, what's all those characters that, that show they're all about, right? So you can, if you list, for example, let's see on uh, my desktop, right? So I'm going to do this and on the desktop. Right, you can see all my files and folder there, folders there, and you can see the attributes right here in the front. Right. So this string of characters right here is the most important thing as far as I'm concerned in the Unix file system and Mac OS X file system. You can find over here everything you need to know about the permissions and the file system as well. What kind of file it is, uh, what kind of, what, how it's categorized uh, as far as Mac is concerned and so far and so forth. Right. So let's get started. Permissions. Permissions can be read write or execute right uh, r represents read w represents write x represents execute right this string right here is going to be formed out of four sometimes five sections right the first section is actually the first character with which represents the file system this can be uh, only a minus sign which represents just a regular file it can be a d which represents a directory Right, uh, it can be uh, L, which represents a symbolic link. I don't have one right here. Uh, it can be a P that represents a name pipe, uh, S that represents a socket, or a B or C that represents a device file. Right, uh, B or C are a little bit more special because uh, they they actually represent device files, depending if it's a character device or a block device. Right, uh, a character device provides only a serial stream of input or output, and the block device is randomly accessible. Right, all this relates to the fact that in a Unix system, uh, a Unix file system, all things are handled as files and uh, have a location in the file system, even hardware, um, even hardware devices like hard drives, for example. If you remember mount in Linux, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the only exception from this that we encountered are the network devices, which uh, seem to be sent handled separately and cannot be found in the file system. Oh, and there is, there is another one, um, a, a door, right? Uh, that, that's you, you're you going to find that only um, in a Sun Solaris system, as far as we know. Uh, if we are wrong, please correct me. I, I don't think I'm, I'm wrong, but uh, the only system that I found that in is it's a, it's a Sun Solaris uh, file system. That's a special file that handles inter-process communications between a client and a server, right? So this is all about the, the first character, which is the first group as well. The second group of three characters represents, represents the permissions for the logged-in users which for me it's my user which is most running right so that's for example on this on this uh, PDF I have read write and I don't have execute uh, writes which it makes sense because it's not an executable file right uh, the next group which is three characters again represents the permissions for the group of which I am part of or the logged in user is part of right the next three 
represents the permissions for the others others representing other users other groups and so far and so forth right so this is how it's split first character file type next three logged in users permissions next three logged in users group permissions and the last three are um, other users or other group permissions right there might be another character at the end which is not very uncommon you know you're going to find it a lot which can be a plus a plus sign a plus sign represents the fact that uh, an access control list is in place that makes the permissions on that specific folder more granular um, or an add sign as you can see right here which represents uh, special attributes for that specific file you're gonna find these at sign especially on files that have been downloaded from the internet or files that are not pertaining to the Mac OS X file system right uh, for example uh, let's say you download a file from the internet and you open it up you double click on it and you get a warning that this file has been downloaded from the internet and so far and so forth and uh, you should not open it but if you can if you want you can open it so that that attribute that kicks off that warning sign that warning um, window is right stored right here also you're gonna find this at sign on files that are not per, not pertaining to Mac OS X applications for example this one which is a Excel file right well that's it for today uh, in the next training we're gonna we're gonna show we're gonna actually show how to change list and change these permissions using the command line and the GUID as well Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and don't forget to check out our blog watermarked at the bottom of the video. Thank you.